Let's grab this and let's do it. <laughs> look, look. Singing. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Bear. Yes, Bear, Blake's Exotic, Anim Ranch. It's another day here, and today we have this enclosure right here. I don't know if you guys seen this enclosure before. We used it for a lot of animals, cranes, turkeys, chickens, all kinds of stuff, but today we're using it for quails, the baby button quails that we have inside the house, not the building, the house. They're getting big, they're ready to go, they're about a week old, and they're ready to get put in here. So what we're gonna do right now is head over there and go get all those quails and put them inside this so another grill so they can start getting bigger until they go into their forever enclosure forever home we're inside the turtle area and i decided to put them in here because this cage doesn't have a little double door and because it doesn't have a double door it just has this right here and these guys are very very flighty little birds and when i open that door if they fly out they won't be able to escape from here so i'll be able to capture them and put them back in without any situations so enough talking enough rambling enough of blah 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 let's go inside the house and go grab these quails so we're here where the baby quails are at and as you can see there are definitely some bigger ones in here and the bigger ones are little bantam chicks that hatched out in the yard. We put them and added them with the little chicks as well. As you see it's a complete mess. This is um, every day and a half they just completely destroy it and poop everywhere. They're a mess. Unfortunately it's been about I think a week now, a week and a half that they've been, um, we've been raising them up. And unfortunately, like everybody said, we really wanted that vinyl to survive, but it did not survive at all. It was definitely a weak one, and it didn't survive. So that really, really did blow. It really sucked, but it was a very weak gene, and it didn't do good. But um, what we're going to do right now is I have a towel right here. I'm going to fill this towel over the top of the... A bunch of different colors. We have whites, we have silvers, we have teals, we have grays, all sorts of different colors, really cool colors. But uh, what we're going to do is now is we're going to turn off the light. Uh, bring the light with us so they still have heat just in case if they need it or not. They probably don't need it at all, but we're just going to give them the option inside of that new enclosure. Um, and yeah, fill the towel over the top and bring it over there. And do a count on exactly how many we have because um, I never actually counted. And about 10 eggs from the incubator, I saw people talking about it. And they're like, well, that would be 10 eggs. And uh, 10 eggs did not hatch. They just didn't want to hatch. I got the egg from my buddy. They didn't do good or they just didn't do good in the incubator. Whatever the case was. Doesn't matter, we got this beautiful group of quails doing amazing, and uh, let's bring them to the back. Cover them up, just so they don't fly out, because like I said, very, very flighty birds, and just in case when we're moving them, don't want them to uh, bust out and fly away. So let's grab this and let's do it. You grab the light, Dylan? Yeah. All right, so you got the light? We got this, we're doing good. Athena Zeta. Our little bullies are doing living their best life. Athena is a little little bit of a devil, but we're training her, you know. Good process. She's a puppy. Close the door. She uh whoa. <laughs> she really likes chickens. Close it. She really likes chickens, but that's okay. It's just they're puppies. But uh let's head to the back and uh put these quails in. A lot of doors. A lot of doors. Door number, how many doors? I think this is five. Five, okay. Well, hopefully we're there. We're here. All right. Last door right here, so let's put the coils in. Uh, I, I, I gotta rest my arm, hold on. So let's uh, um, take this towel off, and let's look at all the quails, look at the colors and stuff, and yeah. Let's catch, actually, the chickens first, pull the chickens in. These are just little old English bantams that hatched here on their own. A mother was laying a nest. That's okay, gorgeous little guys. Here you go, you guys. Jump in and jump in. Real soft hay for them. A little bit of bantams. Some of my favorite little chickens. And cannonball. Nice and soft. All right, you hear them all talking? Oh my goodness. Hopefully that's not a sign that there are a lot of males. Hope not. We have a lot of males already. But there's this little one right here that he's so adorable and cute. Look at that. Beautiful silver colored female baby right there well not a female oh my god they're getting loud they are going look at that gorgeous little guy all right little dude can you fit through these make sure put that head through let's see if your head could fit if his head could fit that's not a good sign but i'm pretty sure they're already big enough that you can't fit through this at all well the head could fit but 
body can't. So that's a good sign. They can't get through. So that's perfect. They're gonna freaking disappear in that hay. Oh my god, they disappeared. They're gone. All right, you stay right there, buddy. Well, he's not gonna get out. Once we put them all in the dough, I'll see. I'm just gonna grab them all and just cannonball in there. Okay. Let's do that. All right, look at it. Look how frozen they are. They're so frozen right now. I'm surprised how calm they're being. Here you go, you guys. Go with the baby babies. Go, go, go. Go. Look at them jump. Go, go, go. They're so scared. They're like, what's happening? Oh my God, there they go. Go. Jump. Jump, little guys. 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 There you go. All right, there they all go. Being very good. I really want to like work with them a little bit so that when I do open up their cages, they're not so flighty and so spookish. That's going to be a try of like an advantage I'm going to try to do here. Oh, look at this one. This is a complete, right here, this one right here, is a complete wild form right there. Look at that. Complete normal color button quail. So that's what you would see out in the wild. All the other ones are like mutations and different colors from just breeding and breeding of different types. There you go, little guy. Jump. Give it a little time, they'll all walk on the hay and the hay will flatten out and then they'll be nice and good and good. Oh my god, look at this little one right here. Count on it right there. If you guys remember what that one looks like when it gets older, probably not going to be able to. But I think that one's a male. Look at him just singing. Let's see if he sings first when we hold him. <laughs> look, look. Singing. I think he's a boy. If that's not cute or what, I don't know. But give this video a thumbs up because that's pretty freaking adorable. I think you guys can get this 10,000 likes without a problem. But uh, come on, little guy. Go in. Go, 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 go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there you go. He jumped in. All right, cool. We got a couple more. You know what we messed up on? I don't know if you guys are counting or not, but I wasn't counting. That was definitely the thing we didn't do, but whatever. I guess we forgot how to count. All right, let's grab all these right here. Another little group right here. Oh, jump in. There you go. And jump in. There you go. They all jump. All right, we got two more. And this one right here is actually one of my favorite one that I saw when it was born. It was very cool looking. It was a silver with white wings. It almost looked like a pie. Gorgeous little girl. Hopefully it's a girl. See the back, it has that gray color. And then the wings are white. Real cute little button quail. And jump in. And last but not least. This little guy right here. All right, little dude. All right. Whoa. Cute little guy. All right. There you go. They're all in. They're doing good. They're all in the corner already. They're freaking loving life. They're looking adorable. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I decide to do with all these little gorgeous little button quail and putting them inside of an aviary with other birds, other parrots, just to be a great little a little part of having a little animal in the enclosure but um if you guys are interested where i got these guys fat hen farms one more time that's where i got it from on instagram don't ask me for any i ain't selling any i don't have any for sale you hit him up so this cage i designed it when i've had birds in here before there's a little hole right here all the way on the tippy top so i don't have no problems and that is for the plug the plug right there goes in there Ugh. Ugh. push through very tight right there. There you go. You got it. We lift it all the way up. All oh, fits perfectly. And we go over here with it. Then we make sure no quails come out. And we put this bad boy somewhere in here. There you go. And turn it on. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to cut off this little bowl right here because that bowl was there for the cranes. I have to get water and food for these guys, but they have a light now exactly what we need they're gonna be happy they're gonna be warm and uh so we got to do it for the bunk well let's grab a little bit of food a little bit of water and uh, i'll be back in just a second so we got these little bowls right here little plastic dishes use these for the water bowls for my tortoises but i'm gonna use that for the food so i'm gonna put that right there smack in the middle so they can see that actually i'm gonna put it closer to the warm area for them and then keep the water away from the heat so that the water stays a little bit more cool i'm gonna put the water about yay far right there it'll sink down just a little bit and that's it grab a little bit of water put a little bit of water and that is pretty much it on what i'm going to do here for these little quails and i think i'm going to call it a day i hope you guys enjoyed today's video 
give this video a thumbs up. The button quails are doing great. Unfortunately, I know the albino did pass away, which sucked, but I didn't have high hopes for it. I've seen Animals Week. I've seen how they hatched out and tried my best, did what I had to do. There's only so much you could do for baby animals. And I did it. Didn't happen. Didn't do it. It's part of having a ranch. There's a lot of things that are good and there's a lot of things that are down. But we always want to show you guys the goods and the bad, so we just part together. Bear, ranch fam. Blake's is out again and rent. We got this, put it together, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everybody.